Welcome back. We want to hear from you throughout the show. So go to WBTV.com slash vote and weigh in on all the things we're talking about all morning long. Kristen, you are up to something fun in the kitchen. Double duty in the kitchen today. We're going to start on this side and move over to the other side in just a second. You know, it's a big trend in the restaurant world. Excuse me, it's getting more popular here in Charlotte. Our friend Kristen Weil from Unpretentious Palette is here to talk a little bit about three courses with Unpretentious Palette. First of all, how are you, my friend? I'm good. Happy to be here. I love hanging out with you guys. I am so glad you are here. You always bring a friend, and we'll get to Kevin in just a second. But let's start with course one. You say tasting menus are coming back, and I think for folks, you have to define what a tasting yeah. menu is first. So a tasting menu is when the chef decides what you're going to eat. So I love it because you can go in, and you don't have to make decisions on a delicious menu. It's just you get what you get. Um, and it's based on the, the chef's whim, or it can either be changed night to night, or it's set um, for a couple weeks or so. Which a tasting menu can be a little scary for it folks, can. because you might end up with something that you know you don't eat. Yeah. But you say they're on the, the comeback in Charlotte. Yeah, so for a long time, people were really hesitant about tasting menus yeah. in Charlotte. I think um, when Clark Barlow opened Heirloom in the, um, Oh my gosh, what? Like eight it's years been a ago? a while, now? yeah. Ten years yeah, ago now. Yeah. yeah, people were a little iffy on whether it would do well. Um, and I think Clark really started a trend towards making people more comfortable with tasting menus. And now you have Chef Sam Hart, who's you know killing it with counter. His right. concept that's um, you actually sit at the counter and it's a tasting menu. It runs for a couple weeks at a time. And now more people are starting to realize, hey, maybe there is a, an audience for this. So mm -hmm. um, we have some that are coming. You see places now too that are opening like a separate little area for a tasting menu. Oh, that's so, smart. Yeah. So um, Finn and Fino has a really great tasting menu oh. that a lot of people don't know about. Theirs um, is the best. So good and such a great deal. It's what, yeah, 70 dollars. Yes. I know, and they just keep bringing you food. Yeah, and, and a portion of that goes to charity as well. It's so amazing. It's a great, it's really great. Um, yeah. You can get that anytime, anywhere in the restaurant. Then I'm there are other there places. Tomorrow. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to get the treatment? I might. You should. Yeah. yeah. Send me pictures. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then there are concepts um, like Menya in the Elizabeth neighborhood. They are opening up a omakase space, mm -hmm. which is a traditional Japanese tasting menu in the back of the restaurant. So they have their fast casual ramen service in the front and then omakase in the back. Uh, and then, of course, there's the omakase by Prime Fish, which is like a $300 true 16 course menu. Um, but people love it. So yeah. it's it's really cool to see new places. And Puerta, which is opening up on Friday, they're going to do kind of like an omakase experience eventually as well. Really? With some kind of odd ingredients in their backspace. So it's it's picking up and it's really cool to see. This is why you subscribe to Unpretentious Palette because <laughs> Kristen knows everything about the food scene in Charlotte and I love that. Okay, course two. I love this. Mimosa Grill is hosting this all-female chef-driven yes. event. Yes, so I checked in with them. They said there are about eight tickets left for tonight. So, so if you want to go and you should want to go, get your tickets. Um, yeah, it's a course menu paired with wines. It's all women and you, there haven't been too many female executive chefs in Charlotte over That's the right. years. Um, it's starting to change. Kaylee Laird is a newish executive chef at Mimosa Grill mm. and she's kind of leading the charge on this dinner. Um, Ashley Boyd from 300 East will be there. The best. Yeah, um, Brittany from Stagioni will be oh. there. So a lot a lot of strong females cooking a great and the menu looks amazing. Yeah, and I think, you know, too, uh, the guys love the female chefs too. It's, yes. it's like the more we can see them, the more we yeah. can be them, and I love that. Yeah, it's great. And one thing that I find really interesting is that several of them have pastry backgrounds, which mm. tends to be like, you know, the stereotyped female um, position, but yeah. because of their pastry backgrounds, the flavors are so delicate and so thoughtful. And it's really just their their food. You can see that they have that thoughtfulness in what they put on on a plate, even when they're cooking savory. I love that. So. All right, we're almost out of time. I want to get to course three. It's not really a dish. Usually yes. it's a dish, a must try dish. But this is a must try thing. It is. So this is something that we keep in our freezer at all times. We have a really nice home bar. Um, yeah. And I feel like this is the one thing that impresses people the most. Uh, <laughs> so it's summertime, like you want to be cool. And when you make a cocktail, there's nothing better than clear cocktail ice, the big yes. cubes to keep your drink cold and looking beautiful. So yeah. I'll let uh, yeah, Kevin so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna slide this way. Um, but hey, do you Heidi? Do you want me to tell people the unpretentious palette info now or later? Okay, so let's bring it up on the screen so that people can subscribe because you do have all sorts of good information. You can also follow Kristen and unpretentious palette, the entire team there on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Kristen, thank you. I'm gonna slide over here to Kevin. Kevin Chan is here with us mm -hmm. today, talking about the ice trade. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Tell me about the ice trade. So we are a uh, custom clear ice producer here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're located in South End. Mm -hmm. um, we basically make custom ice cubes for a lot of local bars and restaurants here in Charlotte. And when you say um, custom ice cubes, it's this kind of stuff. Yes. The shapes, the clarity, the clarity, all of that. Yeah, all of that. Um, we're actually, Finn and Vino is one of our clients. Oh, so well, I'll be having a cocktail tomorrow. there tomorrow. Exactly. Um, uh, you 
I think people might be surprised, and we've talked to you before, but just knowing that there is a business yes. that is creating ice. Right, Like, correct. they're like, mm, but the, it takes a lot of work to get this ice the way that it is. Exactly. Um, we use um, ice machines that slowly freeze our ice over a three to four uh, day period. Um, it also circulates your ice so that you don't get that sediment that happens um, when you try to do things at home, like using the molds. Um, when you use the molds at home, you get that little white in the middle. Yes. Our circulation and our filtration systems inside those machines is really what does the work to make this ice this clear. What I think is cool is what you're doing right here. Oh you're yeah. putting patterns yep. on the ice. So this is a new craze a little bit. Look at um, that. Looks really cool. It's a very simple thing. You can get these plates uh, online, and if you buy our ice, you know, it's just kind of a showstopper. Yeah. You do it at home. That's so. that's so so cool. Yeah. So really, people don't just have to go into the into the restaurants now to get this ice. Correct. You're doing ice for folks at you home. You can do that. Yeah. Uh, you just go on our website, um, www.theicetrade.com. Mm -hmm. uh, go to our online store. You purchase. Uh, it's a very easy process. Within the next business day, we usually have your order ready. There's a self-service pickup at our location, you just go in there, grab it, and you're good to go. So Kristen says she keeps it in her freezer. How long can these ice cubes stay in the freezer and be still be the, the beautiful cubes that they are? As long as they stay frozen, it can be, you know, two, three weeks. Okay. Um, a little frost might build up, but yep. that's not anything crazy that's okay. in, a, in a freezer, so and it can stay for a long time. Ballpark, how much the it costs? Um, they're $20 a bag yep. for many of these uh, shapes. Yep. Our spheres, they're individually custom made, so they're a little more expensive. Yep. It's $24. But look, if you're yeah. having a fancy party and mm -hmm. you want to impress, that's the way to do it. We have about a minute left. Couldn't yeah. have you here without making a cocktail. Of course. So what are you going to make? So we're going to make a very simple uh, Amaro Manhattan. Okay. It's just two parts of Amaro Montenegro. Amaro is a little bitter, right? A little bit bitter. Yeah, it's an <laughs> Italian a little, bitter I mean liqueur. Really bitter. One part uh, Diggle whiskey. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There you go. And then just a couple of drops of this mole bitters. What is that? It's just a mole bitters. So it kind of. So just like mole that out. I might get at the. Right. Mexican exactly. A little chocolate, a little uh, mole flavor to it. Ooh. It's very simple. Just stir it a couple times. I'm no bartender, so this is something that I okay. I can do at home, and many people can as well. I love that. And then just strain it over your ice. That ice is so cool. I can't get over it. I love the, and look how it looks when it gets poured over it. That is yeah. so beautiful, Kevin. And just garnish with a little orange peel. While Kevin's garnishing, let's go ahead and put the information for the ice trade up on the screen as well. I want people to be able to get those cubes if they want them. Of course, you know that if you go into a lot of our local places that uh, use Kevin's Ice, you'll see it there too, theicetrade.com. And of course, this segment will be on our QC Kitchen app. All of Kristen's good advice and this cool cocktail recipe along with all the info about the ice. Can I taste your cocktail? Of course, please. I mean, because it's here. <laughs> I might as well. Might as well. It might be a little too spirity for me, but we'll see. Oh that oh that's yeah, actually really spice good. And the flares of the bitters. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You want you want a sip? Of course she does. Of course she does. It is. It's a Beyonce a beehive ice cube. Thank With you both for being here. We appreciate yeah. it.